Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to integrate Firebase to your Flutter application. Firebase is a backend as a service app development platform that provides multiple hosted backend services such as a real-time database, cloud storage, authentication, and hosting for your static files. In this tutorial, I will go through step by step from creating Firebase project and adding the configuration into your Flutter application. Before we start, if you like our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Firstly, you are required to log in to Firebase console with an account. After you log in, you will be redirected to this page. Now we will be creating a new Firebase project. Here, you need to provide a name for your project. For configure Google Analytics, it's preferred to select default account for Firebase. Now we have successfully created a Firebase project. As you know, Flutter is a cross-platform framework which able to build Android and iOS apps with a single code base. And in order for both Android and iOS with a single code base to access the same Firebase, we are required to configure two different apps in the same Firebase project that we configured just now. So now let's start with Android. The first information that we need to fill is the package name. And this package name should be the same as your Flutter application package name. To find the package name, you can go to your project, look for build.gradle file. There are two build.gradle files. Make sure you open the one in the app folder. And the package name is shown in the application ID. To prevent typo errors, it's better to copy the whole ID and paste it to the Firebase. Next is app nickname and default signing certificate. And both are optional. And at this point of time, we will leave it as empty. Once we click register app, it will generate a config file. Now we will download the config file and put it inside the Flutter project. This config file should be placed in the Android app folder, which is the same level as the build.gradle. And make sure if you have multiple downloads to remove the extra number indicator behind the file. And you might curious what is include inside this config file. So this config file includes all the configuration settings info that needed to configure Firebase to your Flutter project later. After we adding the config file, the next step is to add the Firebase SDK to your Flutter project. You are required to add a few config in project level build.grader file. Make sure you have both Google Maven repository and Maven central repository in your build.grader file. Don't forget the dependencies as well. Once we finish adding the dependency, the config for app level build.grader is done. Next, we just need to add one more configuration for app level build.grader file. So now go to app level build.grader file, look for apply plugin and add the following configuration.
Now we have successfully configured everything for Android application. Next, we have to configure for iOS application as well. In iOS, it requires the Apple Bundle ID. Usually, it will be the same as Android package name. But just to make sure, let me show you how to retrieve the Apple Bundle ID from your Flutter project. Open your Flutter project directory and look for iOS folder. And inside iOS folder, there is a runner.xcode workspace. And open that file in Xcode. And under identity, you can see the bundle identifier. And that is the Apple Bundle ID. And for app nickname and app store ID, we will leave it blank as it's optional. When we click on register app, it will generate a config file for iOS. And now we will download it and add it into the Flutter project. And for iOS, the config file should add it inside the runner folder. The configuration file generated contains the information that needed to configure and initialize Firebase in the project. Next, it requires to add Firebase SDK, but for Flutter right now, we can skip these steps. And for initialization code, it does not have the option for Flutter, so we will skip it for now. So now we have successfully added two applications, one Android and one iOS, into our Firebase project. And that application connects to our Flutter project. And here are all the steps to create a Firebase project, initialize two apps, Android and iOS, and connect the Firebase project to your Flutter project. In next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Firebase services in your Flutter code. Here comes to the end of this tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Hope you enjoy the video. See you in the next tutorial.